Fan of Nine's World Championship Wrestling Program back in the 60s and 70s, then you'll remember Mario Milano, Abdullah the Butcher, Tiger Singh, Andre the Giant and Killer Kowalski. Not to mention commentator Jack Little bellowing, that's all there is, there isn't any more. Well, Mario Milano wasn't content to hang up his wrestling shorts and call it quits. He's decided to step back into the ring last night for one last fight. Annalee Taylor takes up the story. <laughs> and Johnny Doyle present World Championship Wrestling. For years, he was a household name, the great Mario Milano, otherwise known as the Italian Stallion, a force to be reckoned with and unbeatable in the ring. Mario Milano can now pay attention to his opponent. But when television's World Championship Wrestling was finally KO'd in 1978, most thought Mario bowed out with it. And for a while, he did. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Now at the ripe old age of 61, the marvellous Milano is back and ready for action. You have to like it. I mean, you have to like it a lot because training and learning you get hurt very bad. Last night, Mario raised the curtain yet again on a wrestling career that has spanned 45 years. He may be a little wider around the girth, but the killer instinct is still there. The man who has graced every wrestling ring all around the world, the living legend, the one, the only, Mario Mello! one bites the dust. You have to like it. I mean, you have to like it a lot because training and learning, you get hurt very bad. It's his sheer size that commands respect. Wherever he goes, even if it's at the gym, people stop and stare. And at six foot five with 115 kilograms of bulk, it's no wonder. For the past few months, this man, Mountain, has been in heavy training pumping weights each day and brushing up on his old moves. Well, the abdominal stretch, of course, uh, has been successful all my career. I, I uh, perfection it. And uh, it's a hole that uh, not too many people apply. The tag team match saw Milano partnered by his old friend, the Italian Tank, who gave up his wrestling career to run a pizza shop. And while he may have attracted sell-out crowds and a national TV audience all those years ago, these days it's an inner Melbourne nightclub that's boasting the marvellous Milano as its headline act. Times may have changed, but one thing remains the same. The fans still love him. Mario's a legend. He's a legend. Mario number one. A sexy, beautiful man. Mario Milano? He's Italian legend, that's what he is. Mario and the Italian tank won last night's bout hands down, two matches to one. But there was someone who wasn't so pleased. Wife number three, Irene. I don't want to see him get hurt. I think he's had enough of wrestling, but it's his life. So I just have to persevere with it. Is it time to hang up those boots yet? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But. Uh, if something comes up soon, uh, we'll play again. So it looks like the mild-mannered Mario may be back in the ring for good. A little older, a lot wiser, and full of the showmanship that made him famous. Not bad for 61.